All right, guys, we are back. Pack your bags. We are going on an adventure today. Um, no, for real, we're, we're going to boot camp. Um, I'm gonna talk to you about the equipment that you're going to need first, okay? So I have a couple really sturdy bags. I have a, that's a small suitcase, and then a very sturdy travel bag as well. The keyword is sturdy. I know that those handles are not gonna break. So know what you have available. I don't recommend using um, hard suitcases, but you could if you do, just be careful with them. Um, you may need a large towel. If you're on a hard floor like I am, you're gonna need that towel so that you can slide and I'm just trying not to damage my floor, honestly. Um, if you're on carpeting, your suitcase will likely slide on that, but when you load your suitcase with weight, you'll probably want less because you're gonna have more friction between your suitcase and carpet, okay? So I'm gonna show you a little bit how I loaded my suitcase. I've got books in there, um, and then my bag. I actually am using some weights um, that I do have, but the beauty here is that you can use things that you likely have in your home, okay? So we've got, you know, always got my yoga books ready, um, but I've got probably about 25-ish pounds in there right now, and um, I, I may add more later because you'll want that one heavy. Um, my bag over here, I did load in some dumbbells. I've got 20 pounds in there right now. We're gonna be using that bag to simulate a kettlebell, okay? So if you happen to have a kettlebell, then just go ahead and use that. Um, if not, go grab what you need, hit pause guys, and I will see you back here when you're ready. This is gonna be a very intense boot camp class. Um, strength, hit, it's all gonna happen and it's probably gonna be pretty darn interesting and definitely a whole lot of hard work. Um, I will be giving options along the way, so don't be afraid to back off a little bit. Do what you need to do to just keep moving. You can, you can follow along, you can do this, okay? All right, let's do it, let's get warmed up. Okay, so we're gonna start, make sure you have some clear space and it is boot camp. So we are starting with a march right here, okay? Be intentional and big in this march. So we're getting the knees up and we're pumping the arms, okay? I want you to bring it to your jog from here, okay? So we're just gonna start running and low impact. You're keeping it in that march or, or a much lower, lighter jog. Let's bring heels towards the glutes and start shaking out your upper body. There we go. Some circles through the elbows, through the shoulders a little bit. And let's walk it right here. Okay, so we're gonna take a windmill. Um, we've got our feet out wide, wider than the hips. We're gonna reach straight across. Okay, we're folding in half, reach down across, come up. We've got 20 of these. So this is gonna keep us on that road to warming up. And it's also gonna to start to stretch out the back of your legs and your trunk. All right. It's all right if you don't reach the floor, don't worry about it, come down as low as you need to. Just to feel that stretch, that's what we're going for right here. We've got eight more down and up. Get six and five, four, three, two, and one. Guys, I want you to roll the shoulders a few times. So we're gonna be starting out with that sturdy bag today, the one that's gonna be simulating a kettlebell, okay? I've got some tips on how to go about this, okay? I want you to test your equipment first. Get the weight in there that you think you're going to want. I tested mine earlier and 
I found that the best way for me to keep those weights from jostling is to let them be at the lowest point of the bag. And I'm gonna be holding this here. So when I pick my bag up here, the weights are at the lowest point of the bag. That's gonna be what's swinging closest to the floor. Um, and then I'm also gonna make a point to hold my straps close to the bag, okay? Make sure that you've tested this, you know that you're gonna clear your legs um, because it is a wider grip. I'm gonna take my legs a little bit wider than I normally would in a kettlebell swing, just so I have that space and I don't hit myself. Kettlebell swing, um, you are going to be engaging through your posterior chain, okay? So it's a hinge, and then we drive the hips through. The arms are not gonna come way up here. It's more of a natural swing forward, and then a controlled swing back, okay? So it's hips back, drive them forward with power, and you do get some momentum going with this swing. So set it up, pause if you need to, hit, Start when you're ready, and I'll give you a countdown. We're doing 20 of these. You can go pretty heavy. All right, guys, so we're back. We're getting ready for 20 kettlebell swings in five, four, three, two, one. So we're gonna hinge and drive. One, two, three, keeping that head up. Four, and I'm really trying to keep my spine long, so I'm keeping that gaze forward. I've got some hinge in the knees, a lot of hinge from those hips. We're about halfway right here, get 10, nine, eight, I'm keeping my shoulders back, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So we're gonna set that down, okay? If you want to wait for this next one, you're welcome to try it. You certainly don't need it is what you're gonna find. So we're combining two lower body movements. Again, make sure you know where your equipment is. Um, you're gonna lunge down. From here, you press up, hop over. Lunge down, it's gonna be press up, hop over. So we're combining that reverse lunge and a speed skater, okay? We've got 10 of those, let's set it up. So we're gonna be uh, hopping towards the inside of that foot that's reaching back. Ready? Here we go. We're gonna lunge down, press up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay guys, get ready with your weight again. Here is where we're going. So we are going to a traditional deadlift here, okay? Um, the way that I'm gonna hold my weight is I'm gonna get under it, okay? I think this is gonna be the most sturdy way to hold on to this in this case, okay? So deadlift, we're gonna be, again, hinging at the knees and hinging at the hips. We're gonna sit the hips way back, keeping the spine long. So it's gonna be here, and then everything kind of unfolds at the same time. So we sit back, drive up, okay? We've got 10 of these, feet a little bit wider than shoulder width, and bring it down. It's down, one two, three, four, five, squeeze the glutes at the top, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, okay? So we are gonna loop through again. I want you to consider how round one felt, and then if you need to adjust your weight throughout, do it. Pause me when you need to. Okay, so we are getting ready. We're going back to those kettlebell swings. Make sure you have your weight the way that you want it and get ready to drive up, 
Ready? Here we go. Bring it up. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going all the way to 20. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I want to point out I'm really not leaning back very far at all. Okay, you don't come into a back extension here. Breathe through it. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Carefully set it down, okay? So we're getting ready for that lunge again. Slide that to the side. Good lunge back. You power out of it to take that lateral leap speed skater, okay? Let's get ready right here. Step back, bring it over. One out of 10, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, whoo, and 10. So I'm making a point in those to land kind of lightly was my goal. Okay, so I know that I would have not minded a little more weight on my deadlift in the first round. So I'm gonna stick a couple more dumbbells in there. So that'll be nice. Okay, so get ready. We're going back to that deadlift. It's that human accordion, okay? Bend at the knees, we hinge at the hips, and it all unfolds together. Let's get it ready. We've got 10 right here, feet a little wider than hip distance, and bring it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, we're back at the top. Um, I know that's way too much for the swings. Um, I think definitely under these conditions. So, set up your weight again. Beauty is, that's a pretty quick change, all right? So we're back here. We're gonna do this again, our strength. Back here one more time and we're moving on. Get ready, we've got 20 and swings. Let's go, bring it through, drive it up. One, two, three, four, five. Keep that spine long, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Count down with me, guys. Ten, nine, eight, and seven. Woo! Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! If you ever want to work harder, guys. Try talking the whole time, okay? Um, put on some tunes, sing maybe, that's a little more fun. Okay, so we're getting ready. We're going back to those lunges. Remember, controlled landing, that impact should be actually very light, okay? Let's get ready. We're lunging back inside. Bring it down and over. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, so let's do our deadlift. Last time, I really liked, um, this is a good amount of weight, okay? Um, when you're good and comfortable with a deadlift, uh, you'll find you're using so much of your body to do it, not just your legs, not just your back, but it's a combination of strength from all of those areas. And you can really start to pile some weight on there, okay? So let's get ready for this last round of deadlifts. We'll swing one more time and then we move on, okay? Let's bring it up and let's go. Down, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, last round. We're gonna round out this block of work with one more trip through of those swings. Grab your weight in three, two, one. Let's go. Power it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, whew, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oh, we're doing a countdown with me here. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. That works really nice. Okay. Um, grab some water, guys. We are getting ready to move on. I'm going to talk you through this new block, and it will be a different setup. Okay. So this is where we are getting out the larger suitcase and if you're protecting your floor put a towel underneath it um, so that you're not sliding your suitcase right across the floor make sure you uh zip up your suitcase okay for that matter and here we go what are we reading lots of fun stuff all right i tried this out earlier I know I wanted a little bit more weight in there. I don't need to get too crazy. So I'm gonna throw those in there, give it an extra 10. Okay, now here's where we're going with this suitcase. It does weigh a lot, so I'm not gonna hurt my back picking it up. Lift with your legs like we just did, okay? Plop it right into the center of your large towel, okay? You're gonna just kind of wrap it up here all right, so this is where the fun begins. We are doing some sliding froggers, okay? So sliding froggers go like this. You're gonna need room, okay? If you're in a small space like me, which you probably are, give yourself as much room as possible. I'm gonna make about three jumps back, three jumps coming back here, okay? So I'm gonna get behind it. I'm gonna push it. And then I'm gonna frog or hop follow. Okay, push, frog or follow, frog or follow. Now I'm gonna take it back. I'm gonna slide it back very carefully. Ooh, jumping back. Slide it back, hop it back. Ooh, slide it back. Last one here, hop it back. We're gonna take it forward and back one more time. You can walk these instead of hopping them. Okay, so let's go. That'd be here. Slide it, walk it. Slide it, walk it, slide it, walk or hop. Okay, we're going back, press it back, get grounded, slide it or hop it. We'll definitely slide it, hop it or walk it. Okay, walk it here, take it back, last one. Whew. All right, guys, so those are our froggers. We'll be coming back to that three more times. Um, in between, we're going to a split push up. So again, pretty sturdy suitcase here. Um, if it's not sturdy, you can take these right to the floor. I've got my towel or my mat handy only in case I want to kneel, okay? Otherwise, I'm standing on my toes. So split push up, you've got one hand on your suitcase, one hand off. We're gonna come down, press it up, switch your hands down, up and over, okay? So on the floor, okay? And also if you're kneeling, you're gonna come down, take it in, come down, take it back in towards that center. We've got 10 guys, get ready, set it up. We'll start with both hands on, feet a little wider, strong plank position, and here we go. Take one hand off and press one. We're going to 10, two, Three, make sure you're keeping your weight over your hands. 
you're gonna know if that suitcase starts sliding around on you, okay? You're sending that pressure in the wrong direction. You wanna go straight down, straight up with it. Get one more each side. Whew. And there we go. Whew. Okay, guys, we're getting ready. You can, don't make too big of a change, just unfold it. We're going to a bent over row. You may need to adjust your weight. If you do, open it, change it, come back. So bent over row. I'm starting with my feet wide because my suitcase is wide. I'm gonna make sure that I have a good grip of it on each end. Coming to a flat back, I'm gonna pull it up, reach it down, maintaining that flat back, that long spine. Okay, so we're getting a lot of lower back today between this and our swings and that deadlift. Don't stand on a towel that's um, a slippery, okay? So try it out. Okay, that weight's feeling pretty good. Find your flat back, and here we go. We've got 10, nine, eight, always controlling that weight down, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Okay, quick change. You wrap it back up, we're looping through again. We've got two trips over and back. I want you taking 10 to 12 of these, okay? So when you're ready, go ahead and get it going. You've got 10 to 12, counting each movement. Two and three, I'm gonna take it back. Four, five, drive it back. Six, keep it going guys. One, two, three, and I've got my three back. And one, whoo, two, whoo, three, and hop it out. All right, very nice. Let's get ready for those push-ups again. Take a quick breath. I don't want you to feel like you have to be a hero in these push-ups. I do want you to try for full form. Take it to the knees if and when you need to. Don't speed through these, all right? Let's set it up. We've got both hands on and let's go bring it down one two three four five six seven eight nine there's our ten all right, so on those, really, you should get your chest. If you're using something with that elevation, it should tap, okay? If you're on the floor, maybe not, but if you've got something a few inches off the floor, you are trying to tap your chest, okay? Let's get ready for that row again, okay? So we're coming to flat back, get grounded in your feet, and Let's come up right here. Nice and strong, stick that butt out a little bit and pull. We've got 10, nine, eight, seven, control it down, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Set it down. We're at the top of the list, so you should kind of know where we're headed. Um, we're taking that hop over strength. We'll do that hop over froggies again, and block two will be done, okay? You've got 10 to 12. Let's do it. Come on. Whew. Oh, wow. That went faster this time. We've got a little momentum behind that suitcase. Finish it out, guys. Whew. I got excited. that excited about push-ups. I am. Okay, let's set those up. Um, deep breath. Concentrate on form. Even if you do less with good form, I'd prefer that over more with poor form. 
okay? It's gonna be more beneficial. Let's get ready. We're up high and bring it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay. Whew. Mat to the side if you've got it. And let's get ready. We're going to that bent over row. Okay. We've got feet under the hips. Hinge forward, flat back, shoulders back, booty out, and pull. Ten. Nine. Keep breathing. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. All right. We're going to round it out. We've got a break coming up, guys. Take it to your slide. Last time here. Then I want you to grab some water. Let's go. two bags going on, um, you decide which one feels more appropriate for these next three exercises. You'll also need to adjust your weight um, to match the needs of your body. So uh, whew, first thing we're doing is a lateral hop over. Now, when I was planning this, I said to myself, Sarah, you may not want to put in a hop over where you're already going to be tired. And then I said to myself, well, that'll be really good motivation to get over said object. Okay. So, um, I'll be honest earlier, I was using my suitcase and now to tell you the truth, I don't want to use something that big because I'm getting a little tired. Um, so I'm going to go to my smaller bag and hop over is exactly what it sounds like. I'm going to stand next to my bag. I got to go up and over it. Okay. We're doing 10 of these. If you're afraid that you're not going to make it over, just pretend or put something smaller. Um, no biggie. If you're not jumping, you're walking it over. Okay. All right, guys, second exercise here, we are doing a shoulder press. I'm gonna stick with this bag, I'll turn it around, and I'm gonna press it up right here in front of me. The last thing we're doing is a bicep curl. You're gonna need to find a way to grip something in this direction. Um, I tried it earlier, so I know I'm gonna use this bag, okay? Um, if you can't find something that works for you, all I want you to do is an isometric contraction. So you're barely moving, but you're gonna engage that bicep on purpose, okay? We're at the top. So three rounds all the way through, we'll round it out with a fourth right here, okay? Let's get ready, we're going for 10. Bring it over, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. I know what you're thinking, good arm form on that. I'm not quite sure uh, how you guys did it, but that's my method. Okay, make sure my weights are nice and even. I'm gonna bring it up. I'm getting under my bag, and I'm not gonna lean backwards. Keep some bend in the knees. I'm gonna bring it up right here, one, and down straight towards my chin. We'll level with my chin, not actually on it. Let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, 
six, five, four, three, two, last one. Whew. Carefully bring her down. Okay. So now you're thinking, how am I going to do bicep curl? If you got dumbbells, it's easy. Grab your dumbbells, take your curls. Um, I'm going to show you the way I decided to do it with my back earlier was right here. Okay. So if you don't have dumbbells and you have a bag loaded with weights, you're just going to grab the handles, try to make sure it's even. And then we go. We've got 10 right here. Okay. So again, we're not going to lean backwards. Try to keep those elbows in close to your body. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7. Try to prevent that swing. Be a little harder with a bag. Whew. Get 4, 3, 2, and 1. That is some ambitious weight. What do I have in there? Oh, yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, just hard. That's okay. Guys, let's do this. We do know exactly where we're headed, so it's time. Let's just get it done, okay? Make sure you're safe. You know what, you're jumping over. That works better. The smaller the better. Let's go, guys. Get up. All right, finish your 10, take a breath. We're going to that shoulder press, okay? Make sure your weights are even out. I've definitely been moving mine around a bit. Here we go. We're gonna get under that weight right here. Don't lean backwards, belly is pulled in tight. Let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. I am going to make my own adjustment because I want to get through the rest of this workout with you. Okay, so we're going to our bicep curl next. Get ready. Right here. And bring it up. Ten nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Okay. Get ready for those hops. Last full round. Okay. Here we go. Strap legs pop out. Give me a little surprise. In. Ready, guys? Three, two, one. Get your 10. Whew. Man, oh man, that took some doing. All right. Set your weight. Adjust if you need to. And bring it up. Here we go. Cross it up. We've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, stay tall, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Whew. That we moved around a little bit that time. All right. We're going to our bicep curl last time, hops last time. Block three will be done. We're going to one more block of exercises today. Get ready right here. Elbows are in and curl. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Okay, guys, for this last round, you're going to want your bag, okay? Um, you'll need to use your handles for this one, so heads up on that. I tried this out earlier. I know that I can 
definitely go heavier on it. Um, so I'm piling some weight in there. I'm gonna have about 30 pounds in there when all is said and done, okay? If I can find these five pounders there, look like they're buried in some books, doing some reading, I guess. All right, so that's gonna be for our second exercise. Remember guys, today's class, it's a boot camp. So we are going to, I'd feel wrong if we didn't, we are gonna do an army crawl, okay? I'm gonna time this in my head, so watch out. Um, it'll be about 20 seconds of army crawling. If you don't like that, I'd like you to hold, just hold your elbow plank, okay? And what you're gonna do is kind of take some trips around the world. You're gonna walk your feet, you're gonna walk your arms, and just play around with it that way, okay? If you're doing your army crawl, I'm gonna kind of go all over the room. You're on your forearms, you're staying down low, and you're crawling with your arms and with your legs, okay? So it's up to you. Um, be careful if you're on your elbows. I'm kind of taking my chances on the floor. I know it's gonna be hard, um, but that's what it is. For the third exercise, we're gonna be, or second exercise, we'll grab our bag. Third exercise, we'll need that bag as well. Okay, get ready. You're in either your forearm plank or ready to do some crawling around and let's go, okay? So we've got about 20 seconds. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna crawl as far forward as I'm able to and then I'm gonna start kind of crawling it back. And we're already about halfway here, 10 seconds to go. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, keep moving, two, and one. Well, that was interesting to say the least. Um, here's where we're headed with this next one. Um, you do need to have the ability to drag your bag. So I recommend um, me, again, just protecting my floor. I'm going to have mine on a towel. Okay. Um, now you're really going to need to be in high plank for this. Um, I'm actually going to get rid of that for me because it's going to slide. I just, I've played that game before with that mat. Um, and here's where we're going. That was a bit much. Um, like I said, you're gonna to need to be able to grab your handle. I'm gonna show this to you. So I'm gonna be in a plank out over my bag. So I'm gonna bring my hands in front of it, okay? I'm gonna come up and then I'm looking for this bag. I'm gonna push it out, set my hand down, and then I've gotta bring it back across. I'm gonna grab it, pull it down. Okay, that was right. I do want that weight. It's needed. So if it's sliding easily, pile up that weight. If you got more friction, you can take it lower weight. Okay, so let's get that set up. We're gonna take 10 of those, bring it to your high plank. I want you to test it out, take it to one side. It'll start there. And let's go. Drag it across. One, two, three. Four, five, whew, and six. Really try to take it out wide. Seven. I'm not lifting it off the floor. Eight, nine. It is a drag. And ten. Okay, so it was challenging. To the best of my ability, I was holding a good plank, trying to keep my butt from doing that TP thing, trying to keep it out of the air. Okay, um, for your last exercise, what I'm having you do, I'm gonna lighten my load a little bit. Um, you can be on your mat if you'd like to. So we are going to an overhead, whoop, yup, extension. Don't need that one either. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is firmly hold my bag. I'm gonna 
zip it up. I'm a little nervous about losing some weights here. Okay, I'm gonna try to make my bag kind of um, compact because I don't want those weights jostling around. I'm gonna bring it up, hinge back a tiny bit so my abs are engaged. Yep, there they go. We're going to that overhead extension, okay? So again, those weights really need to be starting in the lowest place possible in your bag. So when you bring it up, let them adjust, and then we're going, okay? Let's go chin up. We've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, set it down. Okay, so we're at the top of the list. You know the pattern by now. We've got 20 seconds, you're doing forearm plank or that army crawl. In three, two, one, get it going. So you're crawling or you're taking kind of some walking through your forearm plank. You've got about 10 seconds to go guys. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, so right away, get ready. We're going back to those drags. Um, adjust your weight if you need to, if you want to. We're going in five, start it to the side, four, Three, two, one, reach and drag it for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, okay. So one of those, the biggest challenges about that one is definitely just holding your plank, okay? Trying to keep hips out of the air. So that one will make you think a little bit. Okay, so let's get ready. We're going back to our tricep extension. We're holding a boat pose. Um, lesson learned from last time. If your weights are gonna move around, make sure your bag is sealed up. Okay, you want to start with those weights as low, as the lowest point in your bag as possible. So I know they're at the bottom right now, and that's kind of how I'm going to bring it up, is to keep them there. There we go. Keeping the elbows narrow, bending them to tip that weight back, and then we're going to press it up for 10, 9, 8, 7, keep going guys. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so when in doubt, if they're getting crazy, stop. Don't be the hero. I knew mine were about to move and that wouldn't have been pretty. Okay, we're going through for our last full round. I'm going to crawl with you guys this time. Let's get ready. We've got 20 seconds army crawl or forearm plank, and let's go. Let's go. Ten seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Whoo! All right, all right. So it's gonna be our last round through with our strength exercises. We'll finish with that low crawl one last time. This is like every trip to the airport when they're like, man, we're gonna need you to make your bag lighter. I've made it work. All right. Without further ado, let's get this thing done. We're up and go. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Getting ready for that tricep extension last time. Feel a little smarter about it this time. All right, guys, so make sure you're in that long spine position. Make sure your weight's where you need it. In your bag, get those weights up, and let's go. We're gonna bend back and push 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one carefully set it down guys we're finishing it out we have last not least let's finish with that army crawl or that low um that forearm plank you ready ready three two one let's go 20 seconds guys we're stretching it out after this finish strong 10 seconds to go. Keep moving, keep moving. Three, two, and one. All right, guys. Let's come onto a mat. Have a softer surface underneath you. And I just want you to take your knees out wide. Toes are untucked. Sit back towards your heels right here and walk your arms out nice and long. Let's take a couple deep breaths here. Let your neck relax. Just let your head come down. And that heart rate should start coming down. We'll catch our breath. All right, let's carefully come up. We're gonna do a hip stretch here. Um, so my mat's a little slippery. I'm actually gonna, it likes to slide on this floor, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Um, we're gonna step one foot forward, and now hands come outside, either side, both sides of your foot. Tuck that back toe under and lift up so you're in a low lunge, okay? Now, I want you to just walk your hands away from that leg. So my left leg's forward. I'm gonna walk my hands over to the right and slightly forward. And then I'm just gonna slightly, slightly pull out on that knee. I'm holding it right here. So you're gonna feel that through your hip, through this hamstring. And then if you're really walking those arms out, you're gonna feel it up the side of your torso. Carefully set it down, lower your back knee to the floor, untuck those toes, and press forward through your hips. Take a gentle lean back. So now you're gonna feel that in this side, in your hip flexor, and carefully lean back. All right, so we're just gonna switch sides. Let's take the other leg forward. We're gonna start up first. So we're bringing hands to frame the foot, tuck back toes under it, then take both of your hands off to that opposite corner and walk them forward a little bit, okay? I'm gently pushing outward through this knee and I'm just gonna hold it. And now I'm gonna start reaching away from that leg so I get that side stretch through this side of the body. Carefully start to come out of that. We'll set the back knee down and kind of get re-squared. So hips are pointing forward, back toe is untucked. Let's press forward through the hips so I'm feeling here this time. Okay, I'm gonna find my stability and then come into a gentle back bend. All 
All right, guys. So we're gonna come up from here. Let's stand up. I do wanna stretch um, your back a little bit more. Let's get feet directly underneath the hips. Take a deep breath in. And then I just want you to roll forward and reach down through your arms. Let your head hang. Come to a ragdoll, rocking, small rock from side to side. Take a deep breath down here. Come back to center. Let's slowly start to peel all the way up. We're gonna reach the hands overhead and then bring your elbows out. Take cactus arms and think about drawing your elbows back behind you. Now see if you can start rotating your, your hands back a bit. We're gonna do that a few more times, just rotating for three, two, and one. Hold it here this time. Release down. Let's take a backstroke, big circles around. Take both arms up, nice and tall, deep breath in. Exhale, let it all out. Guys, you survived boot camp. You did it. I hope you had fun. I hope you had a great workout. I will look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great day.